Greetings from Montana. I am currently on the Chestnut Mountain Trail and I'm going to do a hike that will probably be close to eight miles or between seven and eight miles. This trail is just east of Bozeman and it's in the Gallatin National Forest. The other day, I was on the hunt for fuel for my stove, and everybody's out of fuel because it's such a big backpacking and camping area. And so I finally found some in a store called Bob Ward's after somebody recommended I check there. and there was a woman looking at all the different size fuel cans and I said can I help you with anything she was trying to figure out how much fuel she needed for a two day or a three day and two night backpacking trip with her family and I asked her how many people are in your family and she said four and I said oh you could easily do the small can of fuel if you're just going for a couple days and you're only boiling water like twice a day. I said, or you could do the medium size just to be safe. And she thanked me. And then it hit me. I have a lot of experience when it comes to gear for backpacking and hiking and camping. And then today I was thinking, I've been doing this, pursuing this passionately for five years. So if you have questions that you want to ask, I may not have the answer, but I have five years of experience. So feel free to ask me anything that has to do with camping, car camping, backpacking, and hiking. That peak straight ahead. I believe that's Sacagawea Peak where I was on the 4th of July. The highest peak in the Bridgers. sure what those mountains are. They're east, so they might be the crazy mountains. I think that could be the Absaroka range. And I believe that's the range that has Montana's high point. Maybe it's that little peak sticking up like a shark fin. Right, I just finished a snack and I'm heading back to the truck. I hiked out 4.1 miles according to the apps. So logically, it should mean that I'm hiking 8.2 miles altogether, but these apps are not as accurate as my little Garmin in reach. We'll see when I get there.
before I wrap up this hike. I thought I would mention that since I do have so many years of experience hiking and camping, especially those two, and a few years of backpacking, I'm gonna start sharing some more lessons that I've learned and I'm gonna start sharing all of my favorite gear and food and just all the things. So stay tuned for that long series. Right, okay, back at the truck. That was fun and I'll see you next time.